The color is bright red cherry strawberry color. Huge legs. I get a lot of red fruits, slight earthiness, wet rock. I'm getting a lot of cherry, blackberry, smashed raspberry. I think it's pretty mm, young. Yep. I'm definitely getting a lot of earthiness and a lot of savory notes. Not hefty, but a, a good use of oak here. It's a big one. Lots of acidity. It's, but it's also light. Still a lot of red fruits, still yep. a lot of dark fruits. Definitely use of oak. Lots of earthiness. I'm the putting this in the old world it. heat on it as well, which makes me think it might be new world, but I think the earthiness comes through too much. What do you think it is? Oh, Brunello, Savio Mania. Actually, I actually think it's Bordeaux. Right bank Bordeaux, Merlot based. This is why I think it's a little bit fruitier than I think Cabernets get from Bordeaux, but it's still full bodied, has a lot of structure and a decent amount of alcohol, but I can't get the earthiness out of my mind. We have... Yeah, you're right! Rose Gachet, Pomerol, Merlot based, Bordeaux from France. Cheers. The 30 second wine challenge. Go. New World, Old World. New World. Uh, Argentina. Yes. Uh, Mendoza. No. I didn't think about that. Uh, Catalonia. Yes. Malbec from Catalonia in Argentina. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So fast. If you're looking for a really good wine experience, but you don't want to spend, I mean, I'm not even kidding, you know, the $10,000 minimum it costs to go to Napa Valley and like actually enjoy it yeah. for like two days. Um, Paso Robles is a good example of a place that you can head to. Forbes talking about that Paso Robles in California is the next destination for wine lovers. I mean, it makes sense to me. Napa Valley is expanding every single day, becoming more and more expensive, and I think people are looking for a more value-driven region in America. You know, Paso Robles is inched up a little bit, uh, but still stays in that like 10 to $15 price point, and it delivers every time. Yep. What do you think is the next upcoming wine region? Let us know in the comments. 2017, Domaine de la Charbonniere, Baccarat, what do you think, Joao? I would uh, definitely eat this wine. This wine is fantastic. The Baccarat being not as high end as their Chateauneufs and being from a different yeah. region, also inexpensive compared to the other ones that they make, it still outperforms the price. I've tasted these young, I've tasted them with age, and I for sure would age this and enjoy it a lot later. I'm actually going against you here. Fine. I think this is a drink ready wine. 2017 is uh, interesting vintage. When we talk about Southern Rhone, 2016 is probably the biggest well-known prominent vintage of the last decade. 2017 being a little bit cooler and we're settling in five years on this bottle already. I think Vacaras at five years, unless you're talking about maybe top, top flight Vacaras, I think it's starting to sell, settle into its drinking period and the drinking time or the window is probably that five to 10 year period after this. I think it's settling in now. Let us know in the comments, what would you do? Drink, age, or pass? Today we're gonna to talk about tannins. Concept of what a tannin is, it brings all the proteins and compounds and the molecules together in a wine. The most base level thing that I tell people is when you sip a red wine and it feels like you have almost a cotton ball in your mouth and it dries out your mouth, that's what tannin structure does to wine. It provides structure, it provides a mouthfeel, it provides astringency, and it also helps in evolving the wine over a period of time. Right. Tannins are actually natural in so many different things. Things like trees, bark, a lot of things have a lot of different styles of tannin structures, but in wine specifically, it comes from two things. It's the skins of the grapes and the stems of the grapes. Now, when you think about white wines that have zero tannin at all, the main reason is they're taking most of the skins off. Some people use whole cluster maceration and fermentation, mm -hmm. and when you hear that, that means they're keeping the stems and everything involved within the winemaking, which makes for a higher tannin wine, where someone who takes the, let's say, stems out is a lower tannin wine, 